China has been using two handles to fight questions. Every time you demand accountability, China hides behind two excuses. One is misinformation, fake news. China rejects the charge being made as fake. And two, racism. China says it is being subjected to racism. Tonight, we want to show you two videos that expose China on both these points, fake news and racism. Video number one. This one spreads the theory that the Chinese, that the coronavirus was manufactured by the U.S. Army. This video is meant to target TV audience in the Middle East. It has a Chinese woman, as you can see, speaking in Arabic about how the U.S. military is to blame for the virus. And guess what? This video was released by the Chinese state media, Global, China Global TV Network, CGTN. Take a look at this. تصبب هذا الخبر جدلا واسع نطاق على السوشيال ميديا عن احتمالية انتقال فيروس إلى الصين من الخارج خلال فترة استضافة الألعاب الأولمبية العسكرية في ووهان والتي اشتركت فيها 109 دولة بما فيها متوقع أن فيروس كورونا الجديد قد بدأ تفشي في الولايات المتحدة لفترة ما وكانت أعراضه كأعراض أمراض أخرى لذلك كان من السهل إخفاء الحقيقة. The outbreak started in the United States. Do you recall where you heard this claim for the first time? If you don't, I'll remind you. Zhao Lijian, the outspoken Chinese diplomat, was the first one to level this charge. He made a U-turn, though, and said that he blamed the U.S. Army in his personal capacity, not as a representative of the Chinese government, and that his stand did not re represent the consistent position of the Chinese regime. Why then did the Chinese state media push this narrative, and that too in a different language? This question must be asked of China every time it tries to preach the world about disinformation. Video number two. This one is from 2016, but the message it has is playing out now. African expats, African expats in China are suffering racist mistreatment. This is supposed to be an ad about a Chinese laundry detergent. It ends up being proof of how racism runs deep in the Chinese society. <laughs> saw that an African man is shoved into the washing machine he emerges fair-skinned who is racist the fact that it's a TV commercial makes it even more disgraceful it is not our contention that Chinese people may not have suffered racism our sincere sympathies with them such acts must be punished but they cannot be used as an excuse by a state to not answer questions especially by a state that doesn't lift a finger to stop racist attacks on its own soil African expats in China are being subjected to discrimination even now. They're being accused of having the virus. They're being spit on. They're being yelled at and attacked. What has the Chinese regime done to address this? As always, we end up with a question.